I swear these get easier with time. And stick around to the end where I show you how to make this into a preset. All right, so I have my timeline set up. I'm now just going to pick the portion in which I wanna add this into. So I'm going to say right here, just going to make a cut. You can use your slice tool. If you have a shortcut or a keyboard shortcut, use that. And then uh, currently I'm at 1618. So I'm just going to take this to, um, I'm gonna do four seconds. Cut it right there. I'm gonna take this little portion here, right click on it and then come up to new Fusion Connect Clip. We'll click on that, open. Now I'm in Fusion. I'm just going to highlight both of these nodes and then just bring them over here. Next, I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to hit Shift Spacebar to bring up my search and then just type in text. And I want to not have that one. I want to have text plus, because that's just normal text. And I'm going to type in JRTV. Currently I can't see it. If I take this node and drag it into one of my viewers, then I can see that particular node. And I'm going to change the font, and maybe make it a little bigger. I don't know how big uh, it's going to be over here. So I wanna add it to my project. Currently what's being displayed over here is this fusion clip. And I can tell by, if I look down at the bottom, it's showing which one or which viewer is displaying that particular node. And you can see over here, that one is. So I'm going to take my text output and then connect it to my video output. And it's going to make a merge. And how nodes work is your yellow is your background, your green's your foreground, your blue is your alpha channel, and your red is your output. So currently the background is this video clip. And then on the foreground, it's the text. Next, I want to add another text in here. So I'm gonna click on this current text that I have and I'm gonna hit Control C and then Control V to paste it. And when I paste it, it's going to add a, another merge node. So let's just make this a little cleaner. So I have my first one, a merge node, and then my second node. And the second one, I'm going to change this to Film Maker. So currently these are both just sitting on top of each other, but I wanna add that, that bar so I can set them above and below the bar. So next, what I'm going to do is just click here in the background, shift space bar again, and I'm gonna type in background, and then shift space bar again, and I'm gonna type in rectangle, hit space, or hit enter. And now I have a rectangle. If I drag it over here, then I can see that rectangle. I'm gonna change the color of it. I'm gonna make it a, into a gray. So I have a, that gray. And I'm going to change the height of it down to maybe something like that. So now I wanna add it into my project. So this background node, I'm going to bring it up to this merge output. Now I have it here. So if I have my mouse cursor over this viewer and then hit F4, it'll full screen it for me. And currently that looks a little too thick. So I'm going to come back to the background, excuse me, the uh, rectangle, because the rectangle is the alpha channel for that. And I'm going to be 009 and that looks good. So now I can come over the both of my text and then just move them to be above and below. All right, that looks good. The next thing that I wanna do is add some animation into them. So to do the animation, I'm going to first click on my, my top one, so the JR, and I'm gonna hit Shift Spacebar and then get the rectangle and if I take this rectangle and move it around, what you'll see is it's cutting off that JR. So the idea here is I'm gonna put it above the line. And then when I have my JR here, if I move it, if I move it, it's going to disappear if it's outside of that rectangle box. So now I can animate that. 
But first, I want to animate the line because I want that line to, you know, just out of nowhere pop up. And then once it's out, then I'm going to reveal the, the, um, the first text and then the second text. So let's animate this. So let's animate this line quick. So I'm going to come back down to the background want or this background node and I'm going to come to uh, frame two, click on rectangle, double click over here because I want to uh, make keyframes so I can animate this. And then for my width, I'm going to bring it down to zero. And next I'm going to come up to frame 10 and then animate this out. Uh, I would say there looks good for this particular project. So three, two, nine, I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to add another color and I'll show you that more in a second, but let's take a look at this so far. So it comes out. All right. Looks good. So next I'm going to just copy both of these. So highlight them, control C, control V to paste them and move them below. And now I'm going to get the output of this one and connect to the output of that one. So it adds a merge. So both of these are together and the gray one is on the bottom cause it's the background cause it's gold. And then the foreground is the green with this background node is I'm going to change the color and let's get like a gold here. So let's say like that. Now I have a gold. And if I play these, what's going to happen is you're just going to see just the gold one appearing. So if I move these out just a little bit, I'm going to add a delay to the gold background so that shows up after the gray background. So clicking on the gold background node, hit shift spacebar, I'm going to type in time and then I'm going to get time speed. So time speed, I can delay and delay is the amount of frames that I want to delay. So let's delay it so it gets to frame or eight frames. So I'll just put a eight frame delay in. Now let's watch this and see what happens. So we have the gray one and then the gold one comes out. I want them to come out and look like they're moving quick. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add in uh, blur motion blur. So clicking on the rectangle, and then coming up to here, clicking on motion blur, I am now going to have a motion blur attached to this. So if I come back, you can see like a little bit of a blur. And if I zoom in, now you can see that blur, but it's kind of like, it's steps. Like it's, you know, it has a lot of steps in there. So I wanna smooth that out a little bit. And to smooth that out, I'm going to increase the quality here now if I look at this, it's smoothed out. Whenever you increase quality, it's going to add more uh, time to render, but because this is just, it's very basic, there isn't much to this, so I don't have to really be concerned. So I turn the quality, I'll just turn the quality all the way up to 10. I'll go to the gray one, and then come over here, add motion blur, and then turn up that quality as well. So now let's watch this. Fit and looks good. All right, so now I have both of the bars going out. Now I wanna animate the uh, words coming out of those bars. So right here is where that second, where the gold bar fills up all the way. So once that fills up all the way, then I wanna start the animation for the text. So this text here is my JR, my top one. And I'm going to come over to center, double click here on center, 
Because I'm at the beginning of my animation, I'm going to just drop it down so it's not visible. And then I'm going to move seven. So I'm gonna to go to 29 and bring it up. And I'm going to do the same for my other text, which is right here. So I'm going to just copy this one and paste it, but I just need to move this down so that it's here, so that it's still in there, but it's right at the line, and then click on my text, and come back to 22, and come over to layout, double click on center, move this up, And then 29, move this down like that. And now let's play this. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far, but it's very linear. Uh, so I wanna add a little flair to it. We're gonna go over to the spline editor and our text one, I'm going to click on that and our other text, I'm going to highlight keyframes, hit F, and then I can move these just a little bit. And if we watch it now, I gotta do it to both of them. All right, so I have my JR and my Filmmaker. It's looking pretty good. Come back over. And now I just need to have this, all of this exit. So what I'm going to do to get it to exit is I'm going to click on my merge, which is my biggest one for everything. And I'm going to click Shift Space. And then the time speed, I'm going to get the time speed. And then I'm also going to get a dissolve. All right. And I'm going to have the output of my this final merge here. I, I'm going to have this one as the uh, background. Then the foreground, I'm gonna have this time node. And in the time node, I'm just going to put in negative speed. So on the dissolve, I'm going to pick like halfway in here. I'm going to enable this and I want to have the background first, then come over one frame and then it'll switch to the foreground. So what's happening here is everything that we made it's coming out of the merge and it's the background first. Okay, because it's the background. So here, everything for the background is being spit out of here. And then once it skips to this node where it goes to foreground, everything is coming out of here, but it's going into this time speed node that has a negative one. And what that's doing is it's just making the speed backwards. So everything that we currently made, all the nodes and everything that we made, by the time it gets to this end, it's doing everything in reverse. So we don't have to go and make nodes for everything in reverse. We only have to make one set of them. So if I play it now, it comes up, great, goes in, everything closes, and it's done. And then, you know, it would continue with whatever the production is. So to make this into a template, all I would do is just I just move these two somewhere so that they're out of the way and I can bring this merge over a little bit. So let's say like this, I highlight everything that I made. I'm going to right click on it, go to settings, save as, and now I can pick the location to save this and this will be a preset. So. 
intro. So now I have all of that saved. Now, if I was to, let's say, start this project where this is all I have in here, I would just have to go to where I saved that file. And all I have to do is just take that file and just drop it in here. And now I have all of these nodes. And as we were saying before, here are my two uh, nodes that I started out with. I just have to take this, the, the background shot, and make put it into the background. And then the output here, go into the fusion clip, and then I'm done. If I need to change the text here, I would just come over to these two text nodes and change the text. If I wanted to change the color, I would come down here to these two background nodes and change the color. Once I was done with that, you just click on render, start render. It'll go through and render everything, spit it back into DaVinci. Now over here in DaVinci, if I play this file through, and there we go. My little intro, very simple. And if you want it to, you could simply just take, we'll go back to that. You could just take uh, right here, right before the merge. If we go uh, right before this merge to this dissolve, right after it, we could come into here and put in a transform node. And all we would have to do is if we want it if we wanted to move this to like, let's say a lower thirds, all I would have to do in the transform node is just pull it down here, throw someone's name in it. And you know, you could change their names over here and maybe their title. And now you have a lower thirds that acts the same exact way. You just moved it down into the bottom corner. There you go. Simple way to make a title or lower thirds. You can always add more flair in there, add more lines, thicker lines, thinner lines. But yeah, with that said, let me know down in the comments what you think about this one. And if you have any suggestions on something I should do in the future, also let me know down there. And uh, yeah, my name's JR and thanks for watching.